Do you struggle with body image? I know I do, and I think most women do. It's something that I'm working at overcoming. And the thought came to me this morning that just as God does not have an ethnic ideal, and he does not have a social status ideal, he also does not have a body image ideal. There is no ideal body weight or body structure in God's eyes. That is something that is created by and propagated by the media and the billion dollar industries of the diet industry and fashion industry that are designed to keeping to keep us coming back to constantly consuming their products. And as children of God, as disciples of Jesus Christ, we have to reject that tendency to constantly be trying to achieve an ideal that God doesn't have, that he didn't create us with. He created us all individually. We are all fearfully and wonderfully created. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't try to keep our bodies healthy and strong, that we shouldn't, you know, strive to look beautiful when we go out with our husbands or our friends. But that does mean that the constant achieving, trying to achieve it, an ideal body weight or an ideal body structure, um, that's not what God has for us. That we should give that emotional and mental attention to the inner beauty of who God created us to be. So I just wanted to leave these thoughts with you today. I know that they are comforting for me today as I continue to strive to be the woman that God created me to be and to not allow my emotional and mental uh, energies get hung up on trying to achieve some sort of ideal that God never really created. Be free in Jesus Christ. Uh, learn to love the body that God gave you, no matter how it is right now. It is imperfect because we live in an imperfect world. It will never be perfect. And trying to strive for that perfection is only going to frustrate us and keep us in a toxic place mentally and emotionally. That's not what God had for us. He wants us to be mentally and emotionally free. And so I proclaim over you and over me today that we are free indeed because we are free in Christ. We have a different identity. We have a whole different way of thinking because the kingdom of God is based upon eternal values and not temporal worldly values.